Is this the best gimbal for the iPhone? Probably. This is the Insta360 Flow and in this video, we discuss why it's probably the best gimbal for the iPhone. So gimbals were created to keep your camera and filming stable, even on bumpy or shaky surfaces or when the person taking a video has unsteady hands. Today, there is no doubt that the new iPhone 15 Pro Max is now officially one of the most capable and smallest filmmaking devices out there. It now has the capability to shoot log and can even shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second with an SSD on. It's generally a smooth filmmaking tool because of its competent digital stabilization, but mounting it on a gimbal can make shooting with it even better. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to get started with the flow. First, attach the magnetic clamp to your phone. Make sure to decide where the camera icon is placed is aligned to the camera of your phone. Ensure that it's also centered enough. Second, attach the clamp to the flow correctly. Be mindful of the tongue and groove connection between the two. Next, unfold it in one move and the gimbal will turn on automatically. It also auto balances itself to make the operation more convenient. It's that simple. Folding it back is also as simple as getting it back into its original position. So the flow is designed to fit in your pocket, and in your pocket, you have three things that are essential for filmmaking. You have a gimbal, a tripod, and a selfie stick, all in one tiny footprint. Its legs can be configured to be a tripod stand that you can use if you'd like to film yourself. All you have to do is pull them down neatly. And as a selfie stick, simply extend the flow stop part and it becomes an intuitive selfie stick. Perfect for a quick snap with your friends or for vlogging while walking. Now let's talk about the smart wheel. One of its key features is this wheel which is your main control center. You can utilize these controllers by downloading the Insert360 app on the App Store. The red dot is your button to start and stop recording, and holding it together with a trigger button will reset its Bluetooth connectivity. The power button, apart from its obvious function when you long press it, it's also used to check your battery level when you press it once. Pressing it twice will let the gimbal go on sleep mode. Pressing it twice again will wake it up. Pressing the switch button once will switch between the front and rear cameras of the iPhone, not only when it's on standby, but also while you're recording. And that's really cool. Pressing it twice will rotate your phone between horizontal and vertical positions. Pressing it thrice will toggle between video and photo mode. The joystick in the middle controls your left and right pan axis as well as your up and down tilt axis. The trigger button. When pressed once, we'll start Deep Track 3.0 which allows you to track and focus on an object. Pressing it twice will recenter the gimbal, and pressing it three times, the gimbal will flip the phone backwards if you fancy a more high resolution selfie video or photo. The zoom wheel allows you to well, zoom in or out, as well as switch through your lenses. The Flow also offers six different modes when shooting with it. To switch modes, you can just simply swipe on the wheel clockwise. This UI is similar to the classic iPod. Default mode is auto, which just follows your phone's movement using its 3-axis stabilization. Follow mode allows for a more sensitive movement with faster follow speeds. Pan follow mode only follows pan movements or horizontal movements. The tilt and roll axis are locked. This is perfect for shooting around an object or moving around it. FPV mode unlocks all the axis and makes your phone camera more able to shoot freely, which is perfect for creative shots. Lock mode is also available when you long press on the trigger. It's great when you want to keep the subject centered for a long time because the gimbal does not follow any movements. Active plus mode is activated when you press the trigger once and then long pressing it again. This is great when you're shooting sports or anything that has fast movement since it allows the gimbal to move faster and more sensitively. Now the plethora of great features does not end with the ones we discussed before. What truly makes the Insta360 Flow stand out is its built-in AI tracking. This is what separates the Flow from other phone gimbals. To start AI tracking, all you have to do is to click on this hand gesture icon and click on the very right one. This will allow you to just use hand gesture and the Flow will start tracking you. What's also cool about its AI tracking is that it remembers your face so it doesn't track other people. Even if you're blocked by another person or an object, it will remember you. So you won't have to worry about the gimbal focusing on other subjects. The Flow also has an always on tracking feature called Deep Track 3.0. If you're blocked by a wall or an object and you exit the frame, when you get back, it instantly recognizes you with no worries. One of its cool standout features is the ability to shoot 360 degree shots like this. To do this, jump over to the panel photo mode on the Insta360 app and attach your phone in reverse to the gimbal. Once set up, press on the shutter and it will automatically shoot 18 photos and stitch them together for you. 
And although the stitching can be better, it's good enough to process 360 degree shots, turning your phone into a mini 360 camera. Perfect for real estate shoots or just to add a dash of creativity in photography and filmmaking. Oh, and did I mention that the Flow is also a power bank? It has a USB-C plug on its branch which can be utilized if your phone is running out of juice. With its generous 2900mAh, it sure does have a decent amount of power to give as well as a longer battery life. So for my final thoughts, I just have to say that the Flow is genuinely a great product for everyday filmmaking, especially if you're someone who wants to maximize their phone's camera features. Its software is intuitive, user-friendly, and very helpful for beginners, and its features are remarkably useful for a lot of scenarios. However, a few observations can be proved would be first, the material. The flow is still very plasticky and though it seems like a sturdy gimbal, at times I get scared to pull the tripod legs from the body due to its plastic nature. Second, I wish they make a firmware update that can allow shooting in Apple ProRes Log possible. As of filming this, the feature is still not available in the app itself. You'll have to shoot using the native camera app to enable log shooting for now. I would recommend the flow to anyone who wants to start filming using their phones and for people who like to film themselves in general. So in my opinion, having the flow in your arsenal is like having an AI shooting assistant that makes sure that your footages are stable and well-defined. If you found this video helpful and want to follow along my journey of tech, travel, and setup curations, I'll be posting more videos in the next coming weeks. So be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions, ask and I'll do my best to answer them. For behind the scenes and updates, I also regularly post on Instagram. With that being said, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!